Charge here. See the tail of the tape up on the screen for just a moment. And this fight is underway. It looks like we do have a couple debuters. That information, I dug deep to find some information there on Acosta. And uh, looks like he is making his official debut here. Andrea Southpaw is getting kicked pretty hard early on. Yeah, Acosta there in the blue gloves. Landed some, landed some uh, heavy leather there on Watley. Yeah, good left hand there from Acosta. He's got a guillotine. This is a good guillotine. Now, with this tall, he could try to spin. You see he wedged his left arm in there. Eats a knee. Does break the grip, but he's not quite out of the danger zone yet. He's got a hand fight here. Yeah, Costa landed a couple pretty hard low kicks. He chopped the base out of Wheatley. Watley. Watley's head still stuck in the well. Yeah, I mean, still having to pay attention and fighting the hands here for sure. Yeah, what Acosta could do is pin Dre on the wall so he can't really spin. You need some sort of like counter rotation on the guillotines. Usually if you go to close guard, oh, big exchange of punches here. Yeah, they had to dig up some old records, but Acosta is 1-0. So he's got a win in the cage. It was just many almost, moons ago. Almost a decade ago, that's right. But hey, man, you're not slowing down. No, showing some impressive skill set for sure here against Wiley, the dangerous guy. And Acosta's really throwing throwing his body into these kicks and punches really well. See a little bit of some, some wincing on the face here in this exchange here of Watley. I'm not yeah, sure if... Uh, I saw some of the same thing. Yeah, Could have, maybe a punch, maybe a poke. Yeah, something happened there. Seems to be moving on from it now, but Acosta just all over Watley right now. Looking to get some back oh, that, exposure, that, that, both hooks in. That choking arm is under the chin, too. He took it out, but, I mean, it was under there. Yeah, man, the 36-year-old showing some... Absolute tenacity here in this first round. Under a minute now left. Still got time to work with, see if he can get the job done here. Man, Watley's got a hand fight super diligently. Jammed up against the cage here a little bit, making it difficult to hand fight and get the necessary movement. Looks like Acosta going palm to palm here, looking for the finish. Oh, that's under. It's figure four. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to see a tap here. He's cutting an angle. Watley's doing a good Ooh. job. He's really eating this choke. He's got to rotate in towards Acosta. Oh, man, this is deep. About 20 seconds left. 20, yeah, I mean. Acosta still wrenching for it. Let's go with the choke for now. And props to Watley. That was a deep choke, and he did not yep. quit. Not 1% right there. As he gets back up. Oh, it's, uh, it's under the chin again, but there's only 10 seconds. He's hand fighting. He's peeling. He lost the angle. About five seconds left here in the round. Can he make it out? Man, oh, there wow. it is. Great Props job. That Maybe that's where the age comes in because he was in some chokes there. Yeah, Acosta comes out absolutely guns blazing, man. Comes out throwing some heavy leather, then he, you know, he gets that guillotine, really puts Watley in a threatening position there as he gets that big 6'5 frame bent over, going for the, the guillotine. Eventually, Watley gets out of that. We have some more exchanging. It's just a good, good start to the fight. Here's some of the replays. Yeah, you saw Acosta lands a really good straight right to the southpaw's lead side, the liver strike. Oh, you know what? That was an eye poke right there. That's why uh, he was wincing yep, so much. Yep. You know, man, good for Acosta. Because even after that guillotine exchange, he was still blinking weird out of that eye. He dealt with that for a long time. Not only did he not stop or complain, he kept fighting. That's where that, that maturity comes in. When they both guys kind of using their age, you know, showing the strength yeah, of right. their ages. Watley being the young gun surviving some madness and then Acosta being the old wise dog that's right dealing with adversity pretty easily isn't it wild that at 36 years old we can say that about a fighter because it's considered to be on the older side of, of, a, of a fighter it, it, of an MMA fighter yeah in the fight game sure it's still it's still a good age though I think anything like over 37 well, now we're gonna get a little bit older right Not impossible though Second round underway, same oh. type of pace here to start the second round out. Oh, two big knees there from Watley. Ooh. Oh, nice, good right hand there. Good exchange by both gentlemen. Watley able to land a little bit more of the powerful strike for the time being. And Acosta's finding the chin of Watley, but Watley's able to absorb him. It's a nice little double leg there. Passes immediately over into the side control, looking to gain some sort of control here, but it's his arm caught up for a... Just a moment, we'll see how he deals with this as Acosta has a two-on-one grip here. 
Costa probably going to try to sweep, if anything, off of this. Could potentially. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice there he good goes call, with it. Cody. It'll be hard to get that big frame, that big arm from wrist all the way to his elbow on that 6'5 frame to clear that body. So, best suit to try to sweep on top now and able to try to calm the fight down just a little bit. Under two minutes left in the second round. Andre used some rubber guard. He's yeah. got the frame for it. Yeah, absolutely. Was it going to say the same thing there? Oh, he's got those big long <laughs> limbs. Why not go for that type of guard? Really intricate style of jujitsu guard there he if you're uh, hip to it. He didn't quite take the leg grip. I don't think it counts as rubber guard, but the idea was there. Right. Here, Watley's coach over there telling him this is an amateur fight. We don't have a whole lot of time to waste, meaning we only have three minutes in each round to work with. And Alex, I'm sure you know three minutes sometimes seems like an eternity, but sometimes <laughs> can go by in the blink of an eye here in a fight, depending on what position you're in. Yeah, I'm glad I, I fight fives. Even training threes is weird. You get taken down once and you lose, I mean, pretty much. And that's, that's what his coach is talking about. And for some fighters, uh, I, I remember way back, I'm, obviously I'm past my time now, but I remember three minutes, two and a half, three minutes sometimes would be when I would start kind of waking up in a round, settling into a round, and yeah, by that yeah. time, hey, the round's over, you know. So the, the five minutes at the professional level sometimes is, is necessary to get your game going, set things up. See Watley trying to get up off the ground here. Oh, big, Acosta just all over him. There's some big strikes here from Acosta. Up to his feet now is Watley. Oh. Yeah, Acosta's trying to get his hands together so he can get that elevated lift. He's got it. He's in on a high seconds. C right now. And he used it to kind of cut an angle for a double leg. That was good. There's our 10 second marker there in the round. Pretty relentless pace here from Acosta. Hasn't slowed down at all. Did a good job getting up from when he got taken down and kind of turned the table. But what a fight from these guys. Yeah, Acosta. Seeming to be the one creating a little bit more minimum as the round goes, ending on top there, able to do more damage. Yeah, that eye poke actually kind of cut the skin right on his right on his right eye. Oh, Here's good eyes there, Alex. Looks like right on the, the inside bridge of his nose. So not, a cut. not a complaint from him, though. I mean, good for that man for dealing with it. One time I got poked in the eye and I knew the ref didn't see it, so I just kept it closed until it kind of calmed down and just kept fighting. And then people were asking me why my eyes closed for 30 seconds, and I was like, I got poked, but I knew the ref wasn't going to say anything. So I had to deal with it, yeah. I didn't want it to look bad, because, you know, if, if no one knows it's an eye poke, they think it's a punch. Right. Yeah, sometimes it's the optics. Like, uh, yeah. I remember who was it, Clay Guida. He used to have that long hair, and he had that really jerky <laughs> style, and they used to say it would hurt him sometimes in decisions, because his movement alone would look like he was getting punched. But really, he was just clearing, he was that, just, clearing that hair. That's right. <laughs> All right, third and final round here of this fight. This fight just about to be underway. And what's been a pretty good scrap thus far, Acosta seeming to have a slight edge going into the third round. Wildly going to have to do something. like to see him use that large frame, get that jab going. Yeah, start to lose, use some of those leg kicks. Yeah, the fight was so physical out the gates. Wildly never really got to find his range. You can't use the range until you find it. It's also his first fight. He's getting low. I mean, he's doing, he's doing well now. This is actually a, I know he's a little more fatigued, but this is where he can use that, that length a little bit better as he lands a good left hand. Oh, ref's got to look out. Yeah, long legs there of Watley. Nice jab there from Acosta. Acosta looking to kickbox quite a bit here in this third round, coming out with some heavy leg kicks, trying to chop the big man down. Keeping a very Cain Velasquez-esque type of pace. Big man just constantly in your face all over Watley right now. Yeah, Watley's feeling the pace of this fight. He's still in it, though. He fires back there, looking to get his hands going. But Acosta, man, he's just walking him down. Both men exchanging as we clash here into a clinch position. Little head, little head grab there from Wantley. He'll get his back taken for that one. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll see if he decides to either go for this quick trip or throw. 
But oh, man. turns a, what could have been a bad situation into a very, very beneficial one. A minute and 20, Watley's got the full mount now. Yeah, Watley's making the most out of this gift of a takedown and mount. Yeah. And that came from Acosta's lack of control in that takedown attempt. Watley really is making the most out of that mistake. Acosta hitting a reversal, though. Wow, Acosta able to hit that reversal. Back on top now in the close guard of Watley. We're under one minute left in the fight. Triangle attempt here. Can he figure for those legs? He's got Ooh. the head and arm trapped. Well, Acosta knew he's done that a time or two before. Heavy leather here, heavy punches to the ear. Every time Wiley able to get back up though, still in this fight very much. Anything could happen, 40 seconds left. Props to Wiley, this is a good experience for him too. He knows what fighting feels like going the distance. A few deep breaths here, I feel like we'll have a bit of a exchange here in the last 15 seconds coming up. Oh, a nice little uppercut hook combo there from Acosta. Superman punch from Acosta. 10 seconds left. Oh, another big left hand. What a fight. Absolutely, what a fight there. Great show of sportsmanship <laughs> between these two men. Absolute battle back and forth here. All three rounds, very entertaining. Acosta. Able to really put the pace on, put the pressure on Watley in that second and third round. Probably going to be enough to get the nod. But we'll see what the referees, I'm sorry, see what the judges have to say here in just a few moments. Check out some of these replays here, Alex. Yeah, big, big, big shots. These guys got the kickbox for a good half of this round. Man, just, Watley's man. chin held up, man. He got some big shots in that round. And Absolutely. Stayed on his feet, kept firing back. See, this is that little seated trip. That was where that gift, as you called it, came yeah. there. He ended up in a full mount. Able to do a little bit of damage there, but there's the reversal. Acosta able to get back into the top position where he was able to enjoy much of this fight. I know I know. it, it, it probably looks like it's miserable, but the reason I fight is, is, is to feel, you know, what Watley's feeling right now. It's just the experience, the emotion, the fatigue. Your body just goes through so much on these fights. And it's just such a such a surreal experience, such a challenging experience. T to me, it's what makes it worthwhile. If it was easy, everyone would do it. I, but it's I not. It's the hardest thing to do in the world. I agree with you there, Alex. Let's uh, let's toss it away now. And make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for your decision. Brought to you by Live Oak Texas Vodka. All three judges score the fight 30 to 27, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Joshua Acosta. Joshua Acosta, representing Fighting Warrior, coming out and getting the job done in impressive fashion there. Just an impeccable pace put on by the man, able to uh, get the nod from the judges. Big shout out to him and his team.